Hello and welcome to another episode of Drive Gear. I'm your host, Romero Ortiz, and today we're in the always beautiful Long Beach, California at the Queen Mary for Week Fest. Get ready for serious car overload, guys. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm here with my new friend Perry and his awesome Lotus Elise. Uh, Perry, what year is it? It's a 2005 Lotus Elise. Uh, have you made any modifications to this car? Yeah, I've made a few modifications. Uh, basically, really simple mods like coilovers, um, put some Volt T37s 30, on there. It's got a rear carbon fiber diffuser. Um, got a rear and front spoiler as well. Uh, what kind of color? Uh, there's just a German brand called Sax. How are those working out for you? Oh, they're really good. Um, they work really well on the track. Too. I've taken the track to a few times and they handle really well. Awesome. Uh, where have you tracked the car? Uh, both at Willow Springs and Button Willow. Oh, fantastic. Have uh, you seen any wins, uh, any rankings, or just, just you're just out there for fun? Oh, no, I'm pretty much out there for fun, man. Like, when you get out competitive racing, you know, just it's a little too competitive and you, things start breaking down, and that's not what I'm about. <laughs> just out there having fun. Right, you want to damage this car. It's yeah. a beautiful car. Uh, aside from uh, the modifications you've made to it, are there any future plans for other mods or anything of that sort? Yeah, actually, um, I got a supercharger lined up. I just got to get a few parts from a few vendors, and you know that's going right in. Um, other than that, just small little outside cosmetic things. I got like carbon fiber side scoops. Um, and that's about it. Are you looking at any sponsorship with your car? Oh, of course, I'm always open to sponsorships. Um, actually, and one other thing I'm going to do is uh, wrap my car in another color. Looking for a sponsorship for that, too. And, you know, just kind of throwing that out there. <laughs> yeah, if anyone out there wants to sponsor a Perry right here, give him a shout out. Uh, where can uh, people hit you up? Um, you can find my car on our team's uh, Facebook. We're more active, a little more active on Facebook. Uh, we're called Encore Collective. All right. Uh, where else can people check you out? Are you doing any uh, future events anytime soon? Um, not anything planned, but uh, you know we do a lot of SoCal shows, so you can come out and check us out whenever you see us and just say hi. Awesome! Thank you for your time, Perry. Hey guys, we had so much fun talking to Perry from Encore Collective that we thought we'd talk to his buddy Ben, who has uh, what I believe is a Lotus Exige S. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What year is it? Uh, it's 2008 uh, S240. The S is, uh, stands for the supercharged. Awesome. Have you done any modifications to the car? Um, I've done a few slight tuning modifications. It uh, puts down probably around maybe like 240 to the wheels, uh, just a little bit here and there. But uh, for the most part, it's basically stock. Okay. Uh, your friend uh, Perry was telling us that he's taken his um, Elise out to, to a track. Have you taken it out to a track yeah. at some point? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've gone to uh, Big Willow a few times. I've also gone to Adams a few times, but I did autocross it down in Qualcomm Stadium. So I've done a few track days, but uh, with this current setup, it's a little bit too, um, how do I say, it's more for show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you haven't done any qualifiers, any of that uh, kind of thing? No. Do you uh, plan to ever go that route, maybe uh, mod it so that you could? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I have I have a basically spare set of tires, and I can basically revert almost everything back to stock uh, when I want to. But as of right now, yeah, more more geared towards the whole uh, kind of showing scene. Um, but at the same time, yeah, I do I do leave that door open because I you know I mean every car enthusiast kind of loves to track. <laughs> awesome, yeah, I know I do. In terms of show, uh, are there any modifications planned for for the show of the car? You know, taking it out to to some other events. Uh, any modifications you want to do for that particular purpose? Um, as of right now, I've, uh, I've done some pretty extensive uh, modifications to the car as far as aesthetics. The process never stops with mods. I mean, you think you get your final setup and then there's like a whole like 10 more mods that you want to do. And so it never stops, but you know, I do plan on hitting, um, you know, Weekfest SJ, uh, basically some of the other shows like Spocom and whatnot, but it really plays by ear due to, you know, work and business and basically schedule. So, yeah. Right, definitely. Uh, it's it's never done. It's just kind of uh, put to the side for a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for your time. You. you have a beautiful car. All right, guys, we're here with our new friend, Jonathan, and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about uh, Weekfest and how he's enjoyed it. How, how do you like Weekfest this year? I enjoy it. The woman here, the woman, the car, man. Pretty woman here. Man, don't let me get a butt. Man, nice. Definitely, there's a, there's a lot of beautiful women around. Uh, there's also a lot of amazing cars. It's kind of hard uh, to decide which way to look, isn't it? Yeah. Is it the sun today? Yeah. People over there racing, they should start racing. Oh yeah, definitely. We saw the people racing out of the parking lot. It was awesome. Uh, it's times like these that I wish that I was a chameleon. I could look both ways. All right, guys, that's been it for us from Weekfest. We're gonna go ahead and leave the Queen Mary so that we can go drag race with the cool kids. As always, I'm your host, Romero Ortiz, and this has been Drive Gear. <laughs>